Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is an updated uh, Forex tactical look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar. Today's date is April 24, 2023. Let's 24. Let's get started. In the morning Kickstarter video, I, I spoke uh, about uh, two levels. One uh, was the uh, inability to move above the 38.2% retracement level uh, with much gusto in trading here today. Yes, the uh, price in the Asian session did extend above that level. Uh, similar to what we saw in the euro versus U.S. dollar, as a matter of fact, but then rotated back to the downside, and that uh, move to the downside uh, led to the, my uh, talk of the next level of importance, and that was uh, versus the uh, falling 200-hour moving average, and also this swing area. This swing area was defined by a number of different uh, swing lows through here, which formed this bottom. We then fell below that level, used the level as resistance, but then came back, found support, moved above the level, and then uh, traded above and below the level through here on its way to the lows for the year and the lows for the month of April. It was uh, in yesterday's trade that the price came back up to the low of the swing area and also the 100 hour moving average, by the way, and then moved above that level, finding support against the old high right here before moving to the upside. In the Asian, in the uh, early European session and trading here today, the market did find support. And on the way down in trading in the US session, the price found support again against the high of the uh, swing area and also against the declining one uh, 200 hour moving average so overall what do we have well we have uh, re resistance against the uh, 38.2 percent retracement now uh, by the way the high price came right up to that level or near that level and found uh, resistance sellers and the uh, support against the high of the swing area uh, we could also say that the uh, support can uh, go down to the 100 hour moving average and the low of the swing area down through here. So um, uh, this, this is good and bad. One is that the, the, the bad is that we're ping ponging. We're not going anywhere. The good is that we've defined the uh, support and resistance level pretty strongly. And uh, that increases the, the the level's importance. Levels as import, uh, as, it, as in a plural. The support level right here, the resistance level up here. So if we do get a break to the upside, we should see further momentum in the direction of the break. and might see the price head up toward the 50% toward the falling 100 bar moving average. On the downside, conversely, if we go below the 100, the 200 hour moving average and the high of this swing area, we should head toward the low of the swing area, the 100 hour moving average. It's going to be another hurdle that we need to get through. And then we start to look down toward our lower targets, including this low right here and this low right here and this low right here. So that would be the targets on the downside for this uh, currency pair. So um, don't uh, lament or uh, you can take solace, I guess, in the fact that uh, this range right here is defining defining um, our support and resistance and we're not moving very far. But uh, take uh, the solace in the fact that the, on our break, we should see momentum in the direction of the break. And let's cross our fingers that happens. So be aware, be prepared. That's my technical look at the strong versus U.S. dollar. My name is Greg Mikulowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.